March Madness is, well, madness. Even for referees. It's a lot of games, ton of pressure. But the hardest part for us is actually after the tournament. Without college basketball, there's really nothing for an NCAA referee to do. So we go home. Hey, hi. Hi. Referees have lived this way for centuries. This is my home. It's my boy who wants to be a ref when he grows up. You can actually trace my lineage all the way back to some of the first referees in the 1600s. Refs have always been a simple people. We work with simple tools. We have simple outfits. This is mine, this is hers, this is both of ours. And there's nothing we love more than over-explaining simple tasks everyone knows how to do. Ladies and gentlemen, this ground beef dinner will be a single 30-minute period on my whistle. Everybody clear? Whistle during meal time. Mmm, <laughs> ground beef and a hollowed out basketball, just like mom used to make. I miss my mom. She lives in Toronto now, in a grave. She's dead and she lives in a grave in Toronto. Mm. Oh, good ground beef. During the off season, our traditions are mainly focused on keeping our skills fresh. We practice hand signal muscle memory, high intensity jump ball training, and maintaining a strong whistle lip. There's nothing sadder than a ref who's lost his whistle lip. The fact is, referees have been here long before basketball came along, and we will still be here when basketball ends. It's a simple life, but I wouldn't have it any other way. What if you could be an NBA ref? Oh, hell yeah! That's the dream, baby! I will never eat ground beef again in my life.